So I know who I am according yeah, to the Bible. According to the Bible, okay. who I am according to the Bible. I already know that I'm a child of God. Irrespective of what people say, God. I've had enough for the lies, enough for the crap, enough for the flies. I've had enough for the hate, enough for the rap, enough for the faith. I've had enough of the heathens, enough of their ways and the false creatures. I've had enough for the schools, enough for the fools claiming their teachers. Now that I woke up. I'm listening. So what did Jesus baptize? Was Jesus baptized? The answer is yes. Why was he baptized? He was perfect. Okay, let's get that. So Matthew 3. He was baptized? No, I answered that. I said yes. So I'm going to deal with why. He said why, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to deal with that now. I'm not going to give my opinion. I'm going to give what the Bible says. The book of Matthew chapter 3 and verse 13. Then come of Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. So Jesus came unto John to be baptized by John the Baptist. Yeah? We're getting to it. I'm, I'm getting to the point. I'm just showing you this is where it starts. Go ahead. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. John is turning around like, hold on a second. You're the one that's perfect. I should rather be baptized by you. Right? Carry on. And cometh thou to me? And you're coming to me to get baptized instead? Go ahead. And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now. Allow it to be like this for now, John. Allow me to be baptized by you. Go ahead. For thus it becometh to us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered it. He said because we have to fulfill righteousness, meaning we have to fulfill the prophecy no, I said we have to fulfill the prophecy back in Isaiah because Isaiah prophesied that Christ was going to be baptized by John. So to make sure the scripture stands, we're going to do as the Lord wants it to happen. So I'm going to get it now, Isaiah 40. This is where you find it. This is where you find that Christ was ordained to be baptized by John. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 1. Yeah, read from verse, let me see, uh, verse 3. The book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 3. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. You see that? So this is talking about John the Baptist because when you read, he was baptizing by the wilderness, do you understand? When you read Matthew chapter 3. And he was to prepare the way for Christ. That's, that's John, that was John's... Uh, description, his job description, that was his mission, to prepare the way for Christ, for people to realize, listen, the person that's coming after me, when I baptize him, he is going to carry on and lead the people. That's why he was baptized by John. It was symbolic that, listen, my ministry is stopping and Christ's ministry is going to carry on. Because when Christ came into play, Christ didn't baptize anyone with water. Let's get that. Let's go back to where we were. Go to John 3 verse 30. Let's say that again. What does being baptized do then? Okay, good question. So being baptized, what you're doing is showing everyone that you're ready to change your life according to what this Bible says. You're ready to clean yourself. So the outward, yes, your sins, but the outwardly, when you're being dipped. Why did Jesus need to be baptized by John? Why? Like I said, for Jesus' case, it was to fulfill the scripture to show that his ministry is going to take on now. That's what it meant. It's as simple as that. Not to say Christ sinned, because the Christ sinned, the Christ sinned. No, Christ did not sin. Exactly. Yeah, he was. I agree with that. Yes. What was the Messiah supposed to do? Okay, good question. So I will, let me just deal with the initial one, then I'm going to get to that. Then I'll get to your question. Yeah? One at a time. John 3 verse 30. The book of John chapter 3 and verse 30. He must increase, but I must decrease. Read it again. He must... So this is about, this is John the Baptist speaking. Go ahead. He must increase. So Christ's ministry must increase. But I 
must decrease. But my ministry of water baptism must decrease when they come to an end. That's why when Christ came on the scene, he did not water baptize anymore. He did not water baptize anyone. Now, what was Christ's mission? Get Matthew 4, verse 17. All right, what we're doing is we're dealing with the questions according to what the Bible says. All right, Matthew 5, verse, uh, sorry, 4, verse 17. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Christ's purpose was to come and preach repentance because the kingdom of heaven is near. Do you understand? He wasn't the Messiah. He wasn't the Messiah. Yeah, because you just said, what did he say Jesus' purpose was? To preach repentance to the Israelites, to repent. Because the kingdom of heaven... What is the Messiah's job? The Messiah's job. Yeah. I, read it again. The book of Matthew, chapter 3 and verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Get Acts 3 verse 19 as well. Bring it out. Christ's purpose was to teach repentance to the nation of Israel because these people had a contract with the Lord, which they broke. Who do you think Jesus was? Who do I think Jesus was? The Messiah. The Messiah. He's the Son of God. The King of Israel. That's who the Messiah is. The King of Israel, yes. Read, read Acts 3 verse 19. The book of Acts chapter 3 verse 18. But those things which God, had, which God before had shown by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. See that? So when Christ came on the scene, he came to fulfill all the writings that the prophets spoke about. Do you understand? Because the prophet spoke about Christ before he was even born or what he was going to do. Christ came to fulfill those things. Do you understand? In terms of healing the sick. Do you understand? Paying for the poor. Do you understand? Their taxes. Do you understand? Teaching them. Guiding them. That's what he was doing. Say that again. It's still here on the earth. Who's still here on the earth? Everything. Everything's still on the earth. What do you mean? Poor. Yeah, that is true. Yes. What was Jesus' purpose? So he's... He, read it again. The book of, Muff, book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 18. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer. That Christ should what? Suffer. He only came to suffer. He has so fulfilled. Why did he have to suffer? Why did he have to get nailed to the cross? Because why? His blood had to be shed to give these people a second chance. Do you understand? Because when you, that's why you have two covenants. Do you understand? You have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Under the, listen to what I'm saying. I'm answering your question now. The Old Covenant, right, was by animal sacrifice. When we sinned, we had to sacrifice animals. You follow me so far? Right. There were certain sins, but for example, get me the 22 verse 22. There were certain sins that you could not sacrifice an animal for. Do you understand? Certain sins, guess who was the sacrifice? The person that committed the sin. They had to get put to death. For example, the Sabbath. Do you understand? If you perform witchcraft, a, a, adultery, do you understand? Idolatry. There was no animal you could sacrifice to say, Lord, forgive me. You had to be the sacrifice. Do you understand? Wait, now, now, hold on. I'm, I'm finishing off the question. Who am I on the planet for? Listen, I'm going to deal with your first question, then I'm going to deal with that question. You got, is that what I'm looking for, one of the examples? Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 22. Go ahead. If a man be found lying with a woman married to an husband. What sin is that? Read it again. If a man be found lying with a woman married to an husband, then they shall both of them. So what sin is that? If you're, if you're lying with a woman that's married. Right, that's adultery, right? Everyone know that? Go ahead. Then they shall both of them die. You see that? Yeah. So there was no animal you could sacrifice. The, the man and the woman that was involved in this act had to be put to death. Does that make sense? So now... Sounds a bit severe to me. It does sound severe, but hey, the Bible's severe. It's where it is. Understand? That's why now, under Christ in today's time, you got the mercy and grace to get your life right if you commit adultery. So who do you think Do you understand? Huh? Who do you think is coming? Who do I think is coming? Christ. The Black Messiah, of course. Why doesn't it come back twice? Okay, so I'm still dealing with your first point. You've asked me like five questions. Yeah, I'm still with question number one. Yeah, bear with me. So, read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 22. If a man be found lying with a woman 
married to an husband, then they shall both of them die. The, both the man that lay with the woman, and the woman, so shalt thou put away evil from Israel. Right, but let's see the difference this time now under the New Testament. Acts 13 verse 38. Let's see the difference. Now if, you, if I commit adultery, would I not have to be put to death? Let's see the difference. Go ahead. The book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Right, so through Christ, this gospel is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Go ahead. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things. All that believe are justified from all things. Whereas before, you were not justified by all things. If you committed certain sins, you would have to be put to death. You understand? But now under Christ, you can repent. If you are an idolater and you, and you repent through Christ and you ask for forgiveness, you can be forgiven. You're going to get put to death. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 